What's up guys, it's Enfy here, and I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to do 3D cinematics on any Call of Duty, any cinematic, anything. So, this is for Adobe After Effects, not ugly Sony Vegas. But, um, first you're going to start, well, first go to this little electric bar and left click it and make sure it's on fast draft so you can just fly. Whoa. Uh, I don't know. Alright, let me go back to it. Well, fast draft, it'll be quicker for you guys to render it out. Like, so you can, like, preview it. So, go to your effects and presets, type in 3D cam, and then 3D camera check will pop up. Drag it into your clip over here. For here, I'm just going to be using terminal. It's going to add, it's going to be analyzing every frame in the background and making points to place your text. I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's finished. Alright. I'm back and after it's done analyzing all the frames we'll say solving camera step two out of two and after it's done solving the camera I will be right back again. Okay I'm back again and now you will see that create camera is now you can once it's done analyzing and solving you can click create camera and now as you can see it will create little points where you can place your text for your cinematics and this isn't just for Call of Duty you can do real life stuff too. But, uh, okay. So, I'm gonna place mine right on the floor right here. Doesn't matter if it's, like, really wobbled or anything, because you can just fix it. So, right there. We left-click it, and then right-click it, and then do Create Text. And then left-click. Create your text. Give it a second. It's not responding. It always does this. Only when I'm recording. I'll be right back after it's done saying not responding. Alright, so I'm back, and now your text will be like maybe like mine will be all lopsided, but you can fix that by going into the arrow key and then going to transform, and then you can change the rotation. So I'm gonna make put mine up like that. And then the Z rotation and X keep X at zero and that's the opacity or you know that that is and uh, you can scale it so it's smaller and, I'm just gonna, and you can use these arrow keys to move it over don't move it over too much because then it, the clip will be like awkward looking so I'm, I'm gonna have mine like that floating so the camera like almost goes through it and now I'm gonna edit it and just put to it instead of tutorial because it's too long. And then you can change your font, just highlight the text. And, uh, let's I like this font. And you could uh you can like highlight any of them and you can just change the font color of just I mean the font of just that. And you can change the color by highlighting any letter going to the color pad and just changing it. I guess I'll just change it to red. Now, the moment we are moving with for the moment we've been all moving for sorry is to make it 3D. So now if yours if yours doesn't have geometry options, that means your render isn't on ray trace three D. So to do that, go up to here where it says render, click it. You go to render and make sure it's on ray trace three D and then geometry will appear so now you go down to your geometry and go to extrusion depth and you can hire it and then you see you can see the back of it coming out but it looks weird so we're gonna wanna go to concave and then put this down to like 0 0.1 and now y you can change the color of the concave by going here clicking this
to make you see better, I'll put it on full. And you can change it to however you like. Doesn't matter. Let's see. Now, as you can see, it's 3D and looks really nice. Um, I'll just pick a new color. I don't want to make this tutorial too long. You guys get the idea. You can change it to any color you want now. As you can see. As you can, sc as you can scroll, the text will stay there. It looks really nice. It looks really fresh. I don't want to... Like, hold on, let me try to pre-render it. See if it will take forever. Alright, so I'll uh, just give it a second. I'm going to pre-render. I'll be right back. Alright, guys, I'm back. And as you can see here, looks really nice. The words stay in place. It's 3D. And you can, like, if you have a certain cinematic, it will go around the text or whatever. However, you guys want to do your own cinematics. But that's 3D text. I don't want to make this too long, so thanks for watching, guys. Stay uh, subscribed, like, comment, one of the other tutorials, comment in the description, or not in the description, comment below what you want, and I will do that for you. Thanks for watching, guys, and peace.